Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a touch screen, kind of, out of, uh, these, this is what you need. A box, a cardboard box, like, not really big, not really small, like, that wide, and like that tall. Okay, and you need, uh, tape, a cardboard box tape, uh, a piece of glass, or, or like, a sturdy piece of clear or something and cargo box, sturdy piece of clear or something, tape, uh, scissors, a uh, webcam, and a piece of paper. Okay, this is how you build it. That's mine right there. Mine looks kind of ugly. I just use plastic wrap because I don't have like glass or anything so you can use plastic wrap but it's really hard though. Okay. Okay. Then you get your box, put a hole in the side of it so you can stick your USB through it. Put your webcam in the middle of the box, in the bottom. Tape it there. Make sure it's taped sturdy. Uh, get your slab of glass or or a uh, plastic wrap or anything like that. Put it on top of the box. Tape it there. Then get your paper. Make sure it covers the whole thing. Tape it there. Tape it on top of the box. And then, there you go. That's really all you need. And then plug your USB cord in. Download, uh, the thing that I need you to download. I have the link in my description right there. And you're going to have to download that. And I'll show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Here, one sec. Okay, once you download the software, you're going to have to get a software called Win WinRAR and extract the file that you got. And then there's a folder called MT Mini Package V1 version 1. Click that, open it up. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 little folders and files. So you're going to go to the third one down. You probably can't see because there might be all lines in the screen. Then go to the third one down, click Configuration 1. And all these things are going to pop up. When it says property sheet properties, click OK. Don't have to worry about those numbers. All these boxes will pop up. Uh, click them and then look at all of them. See that black screen? I'm going to move the mouse over here so I can put my box up. Get your box and get your finger. Put your finger on the box and then look. See that little dot? That's my finger. And five fingers. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And then you can play with that for a little bit. Okay, then... You can X all these things for out. You don't really need them. It's just a configuration thing. And then there's a command box thing. It pops up every time you do a demo or configuration. Just X it out. But you have to leave it open. So, then click after you do the configuration, click the first folder, Demos. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't have the right Flash Player or something. So there's two folders called C++ Demos, and the other one's called Flash Demos. The Flash Demos one, if you ever heard of Microsoft Surface, there's two videos of it in my favorites. You can look at that. It's pretty cool. This, the Flash Demos has some features that Microsoft Surface has. But I don't know why it doesn't work on my computer. I don't have the right flash or something. But the C++ demos does work on my computer. So click them. There should be two files in here. One's called the Smoke Demo and one's called the Windows Mouse Driver. First click the Smoke Demo. That box will, the command box will pop up again. Then the Property Sheet Properties will again. Click OK. Then you can just wait. Don't X anything out. I just minimize them. Then you can make that bigger and this is the cool thing like really cool like here's my box one finger so cool is this shoes on there isn't that awesome five fingers I love it it's so cool and then you can play for that with that for like an hour 
I have this for like five days now, and it's so awesome, and I never get tired of it. It's really fun. Okay, so after you're done playing with that, you can X everything out. Then go back to the folder, click the second, make sure your uh, computer is very stable. And to do that, go back, back to the main folder, click the second folder down called TouchLib Tracking Software. The second folder across called SLOSC, S-L-O-S-C, click it, then there's a file. Don't click the readme, click the flash file. Then you can open that up, and then... This little box pops up, it might be too small for you to see, but it has these numbers, don't worry about them, just click start, run that for like 10 minutes, exit it out, and then go back, back to the main folder, demos, C++ demos, Windows mouse driver, click it, click OK, then you can minimize all this, okay, when, it, when the uh, command, file says recap at the bottom, that means it's ready to work. And the Windows mouse driver is, it's a real touch screen. You get to use your box to move the mouse around and click stuff. Look at my finger. See the mouse? And you can click stuff and I can move around. Pretty cool. My computer's not that not that new, so your computer probably is, so yours might work better. But mine, I can't really click on stuff, but yours you can probably. Oh, just to click, you just push down a little harder. Like, to move the mouse around, just do it very light. But if you want to click on something, push down a little hard. Like, click, click, click. And if you want to double click, just double click. Okay, that's Windows Mouse Driver. So you can have fun with that too. That's pretty cool. And as I said, the flash demos don't work on mine, but they are pretty cool. There's a photo one. You can import your own photos and videos if you want, or just use the sample ones they give you. And uh, this is pretty cool. This is, you can do the same thing with Windows. Uh, I mean Microsoft Surface too. You can like get your fingers, make them bigger, make them smaller, move them around with your fingers. You can do it with this too, but I don't have the right flash thing. So if any of you know how to get the right flash thing, tell me. Because I do. Then you can play around with this, go to view, full screen. And you can like open them up, close them, move them around. That looks like fun too. And it has this uh, that's fire, that means when you touch it, it makes like fire go up. And it has ripples, you probably heard of this from Microsoft Surface. When you touch it, it makes ripples in water. Like it shows a picture of rocks, like, shows a picture of that real big on a screen, like full screen. And then when you touch the box, it has ri ripples in the water. It's pretty cool. And physics. This is just a little game, you can play with your fingers, you can move them around, and throw them around for the little humans. So it has other features too. You can play the piano. You can do all cool stuff. Oh, and to get photo your own photos and your own videos, go to local, image, put your images in there, then go back, click video. I don't know how to make a flash video file, but that's how you need to make it, to make a video. Then, there you go. I hope you have fun with that. I know I have so far. It's really fun. So, if you have any problems with this, or you know how to get the Flash programs to work, tell me, because I really want to know. And if you have any comments, just uh, problems, just comment, or, oh, uh, and rate and subscribe, please, people. And, as I said, this Flash, th this, uh, smoke thing is very fun. And so is the Windows Mouse Driver. I like it. It's cool. Oh, and see how this works? It's just like Microsoft Surface. The camera is looking straight up at you, looking straight up the paper. And when you touch the paper, it senses that something touched it, and it shows what touched it on the screen. 
So that's what's happening behind the scenes right now. So that's why you need a camera taped in the middle of your box. And you can be creative with it. You can like draw around it, draw like different colors and stuff. Doesn't really mess with it up. Okay, so I guess that's it. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And remember, if you have any problems, just comment and ask me. Because, like, I'm not famous, like I say in my channel. So, I'll definitely. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.